What's up everyone? So this theory is the second theory for Steven Universe, and I think it's actually pretty solid. What if Pink Diamond actually joined forces with the Crystal Gems and something happened to Pink Diamond? Now, you might be wondering what am I talking about? Okay, well let's start off with square one. Pink Diamond and Rose could have made some sort of agreement. Hold up. They could have made some sort of agreement and was like, okay, you fake your own death, we get you off the map, and then we, you join us. Something like that. And out of nowhere, Rose Quartz come out of nowhere and attacks um, Pink Diamond. And all of her royal guards said that Pink Diamond, I mean, Rose attacked Pink Diamond with a sword. And as we all know, in the Bismuth episode, the sword was flawed. It was never made to shadow. And that's why Bismuth made the breaking point. It could slice, uh, the sword can slice through the image of a gem and poof them. Basically, take him down to the gym form. So, we all should come to the realization that Pink Diamond probably isn't shadowed just because Blue Diamond said that she was destroyed by a sword. And that's the only sword that I know Pink, I mean Rose actually used. Okay, so we got that, we got that part down. So let's go to the second part of this of this theory. Now I'm gonna actually show some images. Okay. So as we can see here in the picture of the diamonds, we can all see Pink Diamond is pretty new to having planets. She only has one and that's the Earth. And what if she realized, oh my gosh, this is terrible. Why am I doing this? I, I, like, I thought we was good. Because pink is usually referred to as good. Or at least whenever I imagine pink, I imagine innocent and nice. And anyways, that's besides the point. What if she was like, oh my gosh, this is terrible. We are killing humans. We are destroying this beautiful planet Earth. I want to stop. But she couldn't come out and say she wants to stop. So that's why she makes the pact with Rose. Now what makes me say she made a pact with Rose is if you see in this picture, look at it. What do you see? You see Rose versus some sort of diamond. But this diamond actually has a little bit of detail. As you see, the diamond is on the chest. And who, what diamonds are, like, have no diamond on the chest? Blue and yellow diamond. And if you see, Rose is holding a diamond in her hand. But not just any diamond, it is a diamond that looks like pink. So, my assumption is Rose Quartz is holding pink diamond to fight none other than yellow diamond. And why do I say yellow diamond? Let's look at it. Okay, so here is the diamonds. Now let's look at it. As we already came to the conclusion, yellow and blue has to be one of the diamonds in the mural or however you say it, that Rose is fighting. But if you look at the hair, blue diamond has natural flowing long hair, while yellow diamond has spiky hair, and yellow diamond's hair looks sort of like that hair in the mirror of on the wall. And this would also explain why yellow diamond is in such frustrated, in such rampage 
during the trial episode. She wants to get it done, she wants to forget about it, and she doesn't want to talk about it anymore. Because if she does, she will find out. And who might find out? That's right, Blue Diamond. And what would be so bad if Blue Diamond found out? Either one, Blue Diamond would fight Yellow Diamond, or B, or two, I don't know why I said B, Blue Diamond will realize Pink Diamond was in the right, because we all, like, Blue Diamond and Pink Diamond was close, because Blue Diamond is so torn up about this, that's that the only conclusion, conclusion I can come, come to. So, information and if Blue Diamond was so close a to lot Pink of Diamond, information. and she would have so, realized, oh my gosh, gosh what if quick she answer. was right, I'm gonna go and fight with the... Crystal Jam. So we on in Yellow Diamond doesn't yeah, want Blue Diamond to find out. Plain and simple. Either that or and Yellow Diamond. Let's see. Figure that out and was like, okay, so she's a so traitor. Pink I'm Diamond just gonna say she died. Oh. And, and and that comes to she my sees all the terrible things she's doing, like destroying the land, killing humans or hurting humans, and she doesn't want to do that anymore because she she think she wants to do good. So, she makes an agreement with Rose, and is like, okay, I'll make a deal with you. You shadow me, I'll help, I'll, or not shadow, you, you help me fake my own death, and I will help you end this war. So, Rose is like, okay, I will help you do this. So, anyways, Rose fights, Rose poofs the diamond, and somehow gets the diamond transported, transported to the sanctuary, either by bubbling it and trans doing that or something. Okay, so a while goes by, Yellow Diamond comes into the picture and wants to fight Rose. Rose gets Pink Diamond and uses Pink Diamond's power because Gems are used to power things, so it would be, in a sense, that gems can also be used to power up other gems. At least, I would think so. So, Pink, uh, so Rose uses Pink Diamond's gem to fight off Yellow Diamond, and Yellow Diamond realizes that Pink Diamond betrayed the Diamond Authority, and in order to prevent Blue Diamond feeling betrayed by a Pink Diamond who she trusted with her life and loved, she just said she died and not betrayed the Diamond Authority. Because either one or two things would have happened then. Blue Diamond would have felt betrayed and would never trust anyone again, or Blue Diamond would start thinking, well maybe someone who I really trusted, if they see something wrong with us, then maybe there is something wrong, and Blue Diamond would join the Crystal Gems. So either one of them, two conclusions. Either way, Yellow Diamond hid it from Blue Diamond and lied about it. Okay, and Pink Diamond realizes I'd done so much horrible things, there was no way I could make up for this, so she asked either one of two things, or maybe three things. One, to bubble me, and if you ever need my power again, you can always unbubble me and call upon me, or something like that, and that would explain the bubbled, the bubbled diamond, or diamond-shaped gem in the sanctuary. I would have a picture, but I could not find the picture. If I do find the picture, I will post it up on Twitter or something, or to be shadowed in her shards to be placed in the chest, like on the heel in Lion's Mane, which is now Law's head, Lion's Mane. And I'm just call it. I'm just gonna call it magical land with no oxygen. Anyways, on the third conclusion, Pink Diamond is hiding somewhere, just making sure everything stays calm. 
But this theory is only a theory. I would love it if it actually became true because who who would think that a diamond would be a good person? Who would think one of the diamonds would actually betray the other diamonds and help the crystal gems? That would actually be pretty cool. Anyways, leave a like. Tell me in the comments what do you think? Do you think this theory has any any basis in any percentage to be true? Do you think it might be true? Because it would be pretty awesome if it was. Anyways, until next time, peace out.